Do you have an old wireless router you found in your closet? Or maybe a junk drawer in your office? Or how about that bin in your garage full of electronic devices you're never going to use and probably throw <laughs> away? Well, don't yeah. throw away this router just yet because I can show you how to use this. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me, I really appreciate it. So guys, today I'm gonna show you how to turn an old router into an access point for your home network. So first things first, what do you need to set this up as an access point? Well, the first thing you're gonna need is a wireless router in your network, a primary router, one that you're already using. And the good news is, the primary router we're gonna connect this to requires no configuration. So what configurations do we need to make on this router to turn this into an access point? So the first thing we have to do is log into this router. And to do that, plug the power into the router, plug the ethernet cable into the LAN port on the router, and this end of the cable into the ethernet port of your computer. And normally to log into your router, it's 192.168.1.1. So go ahead and log in. Username should be admin and password should be password. And definitely change those settings once you log into the router. And then from there, access the admin page of your router. And just a heads up, depending on the brand of your router and the type of router you have and how old it is, your admin page may look different. Now, once you're inside the router, go ahead and turn off DHCP. Also, turn off UPMP, Universal Plug and Play. You won't need it. And UPMP has vulnerabilities to hacking anyways. Now, all wireless routers have different features depending on the brand, the type, and the age of the router. Some routers have bridge mode or repeater mode or WDS. And some routers don't have those features at all. And this particular router from Netgear does not have any of those features. But lucky for us, this router has a feature called Wireless Access Point. So we'll go to that tab right away, and then we're going to enable Wireless Access Point. And we're going to choose the feature that allows our main router to hand out IP addresses to this router. So not only will this be a Wireless Access Point, these LAN ports will work as well. Next thing you want to do is go to Wireless Settings, and the SSID of this access point needs to be different than your main router. So go ahead and type that in, give it a different password. I would go ahead and use the exact same security that you have for your original router. We're gonna use WPA2. After that, go ahead and save your changes. Now that the secondary router is configured, the old IP address of 192.168.1.1 will no longer work because the DHCP server on the primary router gave the secondary router a new IP address. In order to obtain the new IP address of the secondary router, log into the primary router and look for network map or device list. And when you find the device, click on device info and you'll see the new IP address. And you're gonna use the new IP address to log back into the secondary router when needed. After you apply the changes, go ahead and plug this into the back of the main router on a LAN port. And then on your phone, go to wireless connections and look for the SSID name. Go ahead and connect to it and verify that you have internet connectivity. If it's working, then you're all good. You now have a wireless access point. And remember, this has to be a wired connection from LAN port to LAN port. And the good news is, if you already have Ethernet cables in your home that are wired to a central location in your house, where your router is, from whichever room you want the access point connected to, and then plug this cable into that port in that room, and bam, you've got an access point. And this can work for any room in your home. And like I said before, these LAN ports here will also work. So you have a wireless connection and a wired connection. And remember, don't throw away that old router because you can turn this into an access point. Just follow my steps. And guys, don't forget, if you like this content, please give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.